Hello everyone. Welcome to history class. In our today's video, we are going to continue lesson 3, the American Civil War. And the objectives of the lesson are to know about the American Civil War, causes of the American Civil War, outbreak of the Civil War, end of the war, period of reconstruction, and importance of Abraham Lincoln. And earlier we had discussed that what is the American Civil War? its causes and the outbreak of the civil war and today we are going to discuss the next two topics that is end of the war and period of reconstruction that means today topic of the day is end of war and the objectives of the topic are to know about how did the war come to an end and after the war reconstruction of the usa and assassination of abraham lincoln now before discussing these topics let us recall the definitions and cross question answers related to the previous topics definitions civil war slavery democracy emancipation proclamation and tariff now answer these cross questions who led the states of the north of the civil war Name the document that declared the abolition of slavery. Name the most famous speech made by Abraham Lincoln. When did the Civil War begin? Who led the states of the North? When was the Battle of Gettysburg fought? And tell any three points of importance of Gettysburg Address. Now let us discuss new words related to today's topic. Amendment: a formal or an official change made to a law. or the constitution the constitution a book of rules and regulations according to which a country is governed citizenship the position or status of being a citizen of a particular country slave a person who is the legal property of another and is forced to obey them industrialization the process by which an economy is transformed from primarily agricultural to one based on the manufacturing of goods assassination the killing of a prominent person usually for political religious or monetary reasons successor a person who takes over and continues the role or position of another assassin a person who kills an important person for political or religious reasons topic end of war now before reading let us discuss the main points related to it as we had already discussed about the outbreak of the civil war the civil war began on 12th april 1861 and the states of north were led by president abraham lincoln the motto of abraham lincoln was to abolish slavery and to establish that no one had right to quit the union and for that numerous battles were fought within a span of 4 years of brutal conflict and after that president lincoln issued a document emancipation proclamation which made all the slaves free the confederate army got the initial success but the turning point came in july 1863 when the federal army won the battle of gettysburg and after winning the battle of gettysburg abraham lincoln address to the crowd at gettysburg there he delivered a very powerful speech and this speech is known as gettysburg address through gettysburg address lincoln established himself as the greatest supporter of democracy and finally the war came to an end robert e lee was general of confederate army and ulysses s grant was general of union army now the question arises how did the war come to an end after the battle of gettysburg by the spring of 1865 all the main confederate armies surrendered and after 4 years of fighting confederate general robert e lee surrendered to union general ulysses s grant at the battle of appomattox court house which was fought in appomattox in virginia at appomattox in virginia finally the general of confederate army surrendered to the general of union army 
and at this place the northern or the union army won and finally the war came to an end on april 9 1865 and the reasons behind the victory of the union army were they had more resources greater access to war material large number of army and the able leadership of abraham lincoln now let us read from the book finally the confederate army was defeated after a four year long fight robert e lee was the general of the confederate army he surrendered to the union general ulysses s grant surrendered means gave up or quit that means the general of confederate army surrendered and an agreement was made between robert e lee and ulysses s grant and in that agreement robert e lee the general of confederate army surrendered and that grant lee agreement served not only as the signal that south had lost the war but also as a model for the rest of surrenders that followed and after that the president of confederate states that was jefferson davis fled away and the confederate commanders were on their own to surrender their commands to union forces thus the war ended in april 1865 northern forces won because they had more resources greater access to war materials and control over the sea that means the northern states were more powerful in all the senses the most important factor was the able leadership of abraham lincoln to conclude we can say that the civil war finally ended on april 9 1865 and in the war northern or union forces won because they had large number of army strong navy had large network of communication and transport systems and war material and moreover abraham lincoln the 16th president of the united states of america successfully prosecuted the civil war to preserve the nation the next topic is period of reconstruction reconstruction means redevelopment now before reading let us discuss the main points related to this topic topic the period after the civil war that was from 1865 till 1877 was called reconstruction period reconstruction refers to the period immediately after the civil war when several united states administrations sought to reconstruct society in the former confederate states in particular by establishing and protecting the legal rights of newly free slaves and for that detailed plans were made and the plans included the amendment of the constitution to rebuild the cities of the south to develop railways and road transport and industrialization in the north and the south the reconstruction of the usa started after the end of the war that means it was started in 1865 it was done in a period of 10 years the civil war resulted in the loss of many lives and much wealth industries and agriculture suffered a lot the south was completely destroyed destroyed means ruined that means much of the southern united states was destroyed during the civil war farms and plantations were burnt down and their crops destroyed overall the war touched the lives of almost every person of the united states abraham lincoln urged his countrymen to come together and heal the nation heal means mend he realized the need for reconstruction of the country lincoln made a detailed plan which included the amendment of the constitution to give citizenship and voting rights to slaves amendment means a formal or an official change made to the law or the constitution to give a huge sum of money to rebuild cities of the south to develop railways and road transport industrialization of both parts the north and the south industrialization means the process by which an economy is transformed from primarily agricultural to one based on the manufacturing of goods it is clear that abraham lincoln started planning for the reconstruction of the south during the civil war as union soldiers occupied huge areas of the south 
He wanted to bring the nation back together as quickly as possible and in December 1863, he offered his plan for reconstruction which required that the state's new constitution prohibit slavery. And in January 1865, Congress proposed an amendment to the constitution which would abolish slavery in the United States. And on December 18, 1865, Congress ratified the 13th Amendment formally abolishing slavery. And all these plans were made for the reconstruction of the United States. Lincoln executed many of the plans, but he was killed before the complete implementation of the plans. Executed means carried out and implementation means execution. Abraham Lincoln had made many of the plans for the reconstruction of the United States. But before the completion of all his plans, he was assassinated or killed. The assassin was an actor from the Southern Union. Assassin means a person who kills an important person for political or religious reasons. He was angry because the South lost in the Civil War. That means in April 1865, Abraham Lincoln was assassinated by an actor named John Wilkes Booth. John Wilkes Booth was an open Confederate sympathizer during the war. He was a supporter of slavery and he believed that Lincoln was determined to overthrow the Constitution and to destroy his beloved South. So he killed Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln was shot while watching a play at Ford's Theatre at Washington, D.C. And after Lincoln, his successors implemented the plans. Successors means the persons who take over and continue the role or position of the another person. Implemented means executed. That means after the assassination of Abraham Lincoln, his successors executed the plans of reconstruction. They made the United States of America a strong country. So we can say that reconstruction was a time period in America from 1865 till 1877 consisting of many leaders, goals and accomplishments. I hope today's topics are clear to you and your today's homework is to learn the terms and try to solve the back exercises.